Hi, this is uh, an overview of the mailing for the River Strand Annual Meeting and how you can vote. The items that you see here before you are all the ones you should have received in the mail. All of them, except for these envelopes, are available for you to print out online on the RiverStrandGolf.com website under Annual Meeting. Uh, the first thing I want to look at here with you is just the notice of the meeting. Describes to you how you can vote and also provides to you the dates when we have to receive things the date and time of the meeting, and what the uh, agenda is going to be for the meeting. The next item is very important. This is our limited proxy. Even if you plan on tending, planning to attend the meeting, we need the limited proxy back from you. The idea of the, of the limited proxy this year is not just to establish our quorum, it is also to vote on several items that we need your opinion on. Uh, the first one is regarding uh, carrying over excess funds from one year to the next. The next one is regarding uh, parking of boats and vehicles within the community. And the final one that's on the second page here is regarding trash. And you can see more details as a part of this package. It's all described. It shows, you know, the actual changes. There's an explanation from the board and then it's showing you the actual changes that are on there. So all of this stuff is on the River Strand website and was in your mailing. The next item that you have here is a ballot. So we have 11 people running for seven positions this year. So you can select no more than seven on your ballot. No other marks can be on this page. It has to be a blank page. And finally, you'll have the information sheet. So if you got the mailing from us, you also received a return envelope and a ballot. So when you do your proxy, if you're going to mail it back to us, you can fill out the proxy, fold it, and just place it in the return envelope. The proxies are not a secret, so if you have other means available to deliver it to us, whether by email, fax, handing it in at the front desk, uh, the ladies can take it. And this way we can quickly determine if we have our quorum and how many people have voted on those items. Those items, again, are not secret. The ballot, however, the election of the board members, that is a secret. So uh, once you select the people that you want on here by placing a check mark or an X in the box provided, um, fold that up. Put that into your ballot envelope, seal your ballot envelope, and place it inside of the return envelope. So no matter what, we, if you are going to vote by paper, if you have not consented and received electronic voting, this would be how you would have to stuff the envelope. You need to then put the address of your unit, your member number, and uh, the person's print and sign your name. If this is not printed and signed with a, an owner of River Strand, your but your vote will be invalidated for the election. Alternatively, if you did not get our mailing in, in the mail for some reason, and you still would like to vote, you can create these two envelopes on your own. As you can see, they just have some general information on them. So if you just take two plain white envelopes, create one as your ballot envelope, write the word ballot on it, put your ballot, print your ballot off of the internet, and put that in here, and then again, fold this envelope and put it inside of the second envelope. On the second envelope, the outer envelope, we still need this same information. So the address of your home at River Strand, your member number, and your signature must be on here. Mail it back to the River Strand office at 7155 Grand Estuary Trail. And uh, that's how we vote. Thank you.